Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to the Earth Mama Living podcast. Today is Live Mondays, June 12th, 2023. I am Jackie O. If you don't know me with Earth Mama Living, I help connect you to your body so that you're able to move through blocks that have held you back from achieving optimal health and life pursuits using energetic healing, movement, sound, tarot, nutrition, journaling, and art therapies. Please tell your friends and share share (laughs) and heart this episode and we can grow together. Thank you. Find me on earthmamaliving.com, Facebook, Instagram, and my handle there is Earth Mama Living. Oh, actually, it's you know what? It's Earth Mama Official. I've been saying it the wrong thing the whole time. <laughs> YouTube, Clapper, TikTok, Alignable, and Rumble. In today's show, I'm going to do some grounding, some breath work, and some sound healing. And then just a quick chat, some thoughts I have about confidence and why it matters in your daily life, especially if you're a business owner or any kind of um, business person out there, even as an employee. And then uh, I'd love to show you the beginning of my latest drawing um, painting from my Chichen Itza trip from April and the photos that are adding to this really interesting next piece that I'm doing. But before I'm going to begin, I'm going to offer you my insight around learning online. And here's the abbreviated version. You know what? You find stuff online or wherever you hear it from anybody. And I highly suggest that you figure it out yourself. Look it up yourself before taking it on as being your truth. Um, Know that it's easy to just repeat things. However, it is so important to look things up, really know in our heart when something is true for you. And then as you go along, you find more stuff that might change your opinion. And then you just keep going along and we keep learning as we go, right? So here's my core belief and my bigger picture goal. In other words, my mission statement in all that I do, I believe in challenging the status quo. I believe in trusting our bodies to heal themselves. The way I challenge the status quo is by teaching clean living by what we eat, what we allow around us, and all that supports our bodies to heal themselves. Please feel free to ask questions in the chat window here. So let's begin. For those of you listening to the podcast on the replay, I welcome you here in my healing space. Let's get into the sacred heart and soul space by doing a couple things some breath work, sound, and healing. So first thing um, have you do is breathe with me. Let's do three longer breaths that we hold for four seconds at the top and then breathe out through your mouth. So let's breathe in through our nose slowly. Hold it for four seconds. Breathe out slowly through your mouth. Let's do four seconds in again. Four seconds holding. Four seconds out. One last time. Breathing in. And let that out. Awesome. That should immediately bring you to a a calmer place if you aren't already. And so let's do some sound. Last time I did not do my Tibetan bell. So I will bring that up here for you. Here we go. And this is, by the way, brought back from my mom uh, from India when she went to Tibet on a retreat um don't know how many years it was before she passed away but um amazing trip it sounded like and it's too bad i didn't get to join her on that one but 
This bell is from her and thoughts about her today as we ring the bell and think about all of those people who were with us, have been with us in our lives, but perhaps are not with us today. If you have headphones, it would be great for you to listen with that. It's very, very calming. So let's talk a little bit about confidence. And I really think that this is important, as I mentioned too, about confidence. And why do I why do I mention it? Because as a business owner, we need to project out to the world many things that we're trustable, that we know what we're talking about, that we believe in ourselves and what we are selling or offering, however you want to call it. So the thing is, People are, are going to judge you whether you like it or not. I mean, it's a simple fact. I, they they say, you know, that we pretty much can tell how someone is within three seconds. Isn't that crazy? Um, and I was thinking about it on the way home today that I do that. And it is normal. It is a normal thing because, you know, I think that's just innate, innate for us to need to judge someone and make a decision whether, for example, if the person is safe, if they are here to help us, or if they are totally wrapped up in themselves and not present. There are a lot of things that we judge immediately and we determine right away. And I'm sure that you know. I'm. If you're here and you're listening to me, you already know the things that can make you appear a certain way. Now, I, I use the word confidence because I personally am drawn to people who are 
confident. And because they have a direction in life, it appears. You know, the appearance is they then they know what they're doing. And especially if it's from somebody that I'm buying something from. So I don't think it's a bad thing, though. You know, that we always say, oh, don't judge people, don't judge, judge people. But if you think about it, it's really necessary. And when people are, are determining whether they're going to be your friend even or if they want to date you, it's, it's immediate. It's pretty much like a, you know, whether they actually decide outwardly or listen to their gut they are definitely going to know in their gut from the beginning if something's going to work out or not. Um, I think that we don't check in with ourselves enough to really, to, to really go, hey, I don't think that's going to be a right fit. Or that person, look, they're kind of fumbling around with their equipment. They're, they're still kind of figuring out what they're doing with themselves. You know, for sure, I look at myself and I think, how confident am I? How What is it that I put out there to the world? You know, what we can look at body language, posture, verbal communication, so all these things, all these topics. How are we speaking to people? There are fantastic speaking organizations that help with that. For example, Toastmasters, for one. And they, they have really good really great tools for how to speak and how to change it up so that you're much more effective in how you speak to the world. Now, there's also how you dress and the grooming. How, how do you have your hair? Do you even take time to do your hair? <laughs> Sometimes, um, if I don't have time, for example, I'm just going to put my hair totally on top of my head because if I'm going somewhere really, really doesn't matter, then I'm just going to do what I've got to do. And I think that also when you look at someone, you can tell if their knowledge about a particular topic is, is deep or if it's just, you know, glossed over or, you know, how well did they prepare? So all these different things that we look at when you look at someone literally in person, looking at the person, that you make decision right away. And I just, I just felt like it was really important to talk about today. I don't know, because you know I'm around a lot of business owners all the time. And if you think about it, even when you're an employee, you want to have a boss that knows what they're doing, and and can actually lead you in the direction where you'd like to go. Or if you have ideas yourself, to be able to be heard by them and they have the confidence to tell you what they really think, you know? And if they are really knowledgeable about how to speak to people, to be able to support you and disagree at the same time. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. It's just a topic that I thought was really important to bring up, uh, especially as I branch out into the world and I meet, I meet more uh, people. I'm, I'm just loving how many new people I'm meeting lately. It's been fantastic. So think about it and definitely comment below. All right. So by the way, if you're joining me late here or if you don't know me, I'm I'll just repeat, I am Jackie O. I am the Earth Mama, and I help moms create a holistic lifestyle to help maximize their whole family's health without sacrificing time, flavor, or sanity. So, last thing here is I'm going to do a screen share of my Photoshop app that I have a couple different images that I'm going to be using for my next drawing. And I've already started the sketch of the drawing and I, I'm looking forward to showing you guys. So let's look here. All right. And I'm going to do my 
I'm going to do my Photoshop window. So, all right, this is one of the images that I'm going to show you. That is part of the intrigue that I have. I'll show you. So I'm going to zoom in. I'll show you some of the areas that I'm really, really interested in. So one of the themes that um, the Mayans had a lot of was snakes. And this chain here is going to be very similar to another photo that I'm going to show you that I actually am using to draw the snake pattern. But there, are just um, this is, by the way, from the other piece that I did, this section. Really, really, really interesting. I'm there at this for a really long time and get so much from it. Um, I think that this piece is sort of maybe more in the next piece so I'm going to close this one. <laughs> That's the way that um, one of my latest drawings and paintings that I've uploaded to my Fine Art America site, which you can definitely buy prints with, but that piece is no longer in my possession. Um, I have gifted it to someone he doesn't know yet, <laughs> but um, it, the original is no longer available. So you um, can order prints for sure and all kinds of places to to see that artwork. You can, you can even print it on a bedspread app or your shower curtain. Anyway, so here, this piece, this is actually the one that I studied the most for my next drawing, and I'm really looking forward to showing you here in a moment. This piece, and as you can see, so it's the snake that goes up, and there are some interesting patterns in here that I've picked up that I will be putting in my final piece. So here, um, this, by the way, is a photograph showing the original color this is up inside one of the structures that we walked through in Chichen Itza. And it's fascinating. Look, look. I mean, you can see the reds. And I'm not even positive. I don't remember what the tour guide said. But oh, look, you can see the snake pattern in here, too. Really, really interesting. Um, so, yeah, I will be using this for color. Um, I don't know if the green is moss um, or lichen. I'm not positive, but for sure you can see the red still, which is crazy after all this time. Last image that I'm definitely going to be pulling some shapes from and symbols is this one. And I'm not sure yet which part, but hopefully you can see the detail in this. It's really, really, really interesting. So let's, let's go back to me and I'll show you now, um, this is actually the sketch. You know what? I don't even have to move it except for turning off my background so that you don't have to squint at all. So there we go. So this is the beginning, and I've already realized that I was drawing it crooked. So what I'm going to do is have the snake pattern start at the bottom, which is from one of those photographs that goes along the bottom. It's going to be the beginning of the snake curving and then, of course, twisting up. And I will be putting it on the same size of paper that I have been putting them on. I think it's a, a 16 by a 20, 18 by 24. So it's great, 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 great. Very fun. And to show you guys the, 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 the stage of progress that I'm doing is really exciting for me because I love your feedback. I'd love to show you what I'm doing. It, all, it also inspires me to keep going and have more of a timeline and more of a a deadline. So if I know that I'm showing you guys on Monday, then I will have things a little bit further along. But this, I will be sketching this week before my next live. I will be sketching this out on the 18 by 24 paper so that I can start showing you the final piece. This is just the initial sketch. 
for the snake piece. And I will probably also add some other elements that I showed you from the photographs. So very, very exciting. And so that's it. I, I just want to wrap it up quick today. And I send you my love and I really wish you the best of energy healing journeys. And that would be any time of the day that you are focusing and looking at your own self and taking care of yourself so that you can take care of people around you. I encourage you to do that at least once a day, if not five times a day. I encourage each of you to look within and to know that you can and do absolutely without a doubt heal yourself in every moment of the day. With this, you can overcome anything. Namaste, my friends. Have a wonderful week. I will see you next week. Take care.